Rebel Moon is set to hit our screens this year. All that you love, for the no mercy. It's from the same man who is known for intense action scenes in his movies. On the other hand, it is one of the biggest projects by the streaming giant Netflix. This upcoming sci-fi film promises to introduce a new fictional universe. It has everything you can ask for, from action to thrill and from drama to dark comedy. This space opera is bringing everything for its viewers. That being said, let's explore the magic of this film with Cine Wizard, your ultimate guide to upcoming films and TV shows. The anticipation for this film, it's amazing. Something so powerful that you If you are into action blockbuster, you have definitely heard of this Zack Snyder. This guy is a genius when it comes to directing epic films. You probably know him for his work with DC and Warner Bros. He has an impressive portfolio that has movies like 300, Justice League and Man of Steel. had intended. What if a child aspired to something great? He's gonna change the world. After parting ways with Warner Bros in 2020, he set his sights on a new frontier, which is none other than Netflix. With his collaboration with the company, he released his first film, Army of the Dead, in 2021. You ready to play? There's two hundred million dollars in it. This should be a simple in and out. The movie was a massive success, both critically and at the box office. Now get ready, because Zack is teaming up with Netflix once again for his next big project. It is titled Rebel Moon, and it is creating buzz since it was announced. Savage, with no honor, no dignity. Before we start discussing its amazing storyline, let's explore its background first. This highly anticipated movie has an exciting history behind its creation. According to the reports, Zack has always been a big fan of the Star Wars saga. In the time between Revenge of the Sith and The Force Awakens, he had this amazing idea to expand the Star Wars universe. Personal representative on the Jedi Council. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of Anakin did not take to his new assignment with much enthusiasm. It's very dangerous. He wanted to take the galaxy for a spin and create something incredible. However, his idea didn't become an official project and was rejected. So he decided to work on it independently as a sci-fi story. That's why this upcoming sci-fi flick in his dream come true. It's a fusion of Star Wars and Akira Kurosawa's film Seven Samurai. We have seen stories of villages seeking elite warriors for protection. The same idea is the basis of this project. With Netflix backing this film, you can expect something spectacular. It's like a magnificent seven in space but on a whole new level i'm good oh we're good we got a mexican According to the official summary, it tells a tale of a peaceful colony threatened by the ruthless Belasaras. They send a young woman to gather a team of warriors from neighboring planets to fight back and defend their home. Recently, another official synopsis for the film has been released which reads, In a universe controlled by the corrupt government of the Mother World, the Moon of World is threatened by the forces of the Imperium, the army of the Mother World controlled by Regent Belasaras, Kara, a former member of the Imperium who seeks redemption for her past in the leadership of the oppressive government tasks herself to recruit warriors from across the galaxy to make a stand against the mother world's forces before they return to the planet. We shall ignite the flames of rebellion. Call them no mercy! This film is a big deal for the biggest streaming service of the world. They are looking to create their own blockbuster franchises alongside others like Stranger Things and The Witcher.
The team behind this project hopes that it would become a massive universe that can be expanded further. This is going to be an edgy, grown-up space opera, thanks to Zack's signature style of using slow motion and speed ramping techniques. It is shaping up to be an epic space adventure. We can expect a lot of thrilling battles, breathtaking visuals, and a new sci-fi universe. Stars. We gather and together. With peril and uncertainty, but the fate of the galaxy. According to the latest news, the upcoming film was shot back to back with its sequel. Yes, you heard that right. That means the second movie is already in the back and ready to go. With this back to back production, it's clear that it could be the biggest sci fi movie of 2023. Its director is already known for his lengthy films and extended versions. That's why there will be R rated versions of both movies. According to Andy Koyoma, the sound mixer of the movie, they are mixing four different features, two films, and each of them will have an extended R rated version. These versions are specially made for adults and have more graphic scenes, so we are in for a deeper dive into this new saga. It also suggests that the first movie might end on the thrilling cliffhanger that sets the stage for the sequel. This means we won't have to wait too long to continue the adventure with the sequel. We get to fly to another planet. It gives me clarity of purpose. Die. First up, we have the legendary Anthony Hopkins, who will be lending his voice to Jimmy, a sentient mechanized robot. Next, we have Sofia Botala taking on the role of Kara. She is a young woman tasked with gathering a defense force against the forces of the regent. You might recognize her from action-packed movies like Kingsman, The Secret Service. The talented Jimon Honsu joins the cast as General Titus. In the role of cunning regent Belasaurus, we have at screen. He is ready to lay siege on a distant galaxy colony in this thrilling adventure. The cast doesn't stop there. We have a stellar lineup with Charlie Hunnam, Ray Fisher, Cleopatra Coleman, Michael Husman, Jenna Malone, and Duna Bay in the supporting roles. As we told you before, Zack Snyder is directing this film. He is also handling cinematography and acting as a producer alongside Eric Newman. The script for the film is a collaboration between Kurt Johnstad and Shay Hatton. The music score is created by Tom Holkenberg, while Dottie Dawn is handling the editing department. Its filming started in April 2022 and wrapped on 2nd December 2022. Production mainly took place in California, USA. As for its release date, Rebel Moon is set to hit Netflix on 22nd December 2023. However, it won't be just an online release. Before landing on the service, it will have a limited theatrical run in select theaters. So are you excited for this movie? Let us know in the comments below. Meanwhile, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this new visit for more updates.